been a, a great champion of um, anti-poverty and anti-hunger work in D.C. We hear you loud and clear in the district. Um, I wonder if you could say a couple minutes about um, the attacks that we see on anti-hunger programs, safety net programs, in the Ryan budget, um, the opportunities you've had to speak to the president directly about protection of the, of the country's most important anti-hunger program, the food stamp program known as SNAP. Um, if you could just say a second about that. Thank you very much for Keeping that. Keeping the anti-hunger and food stamp what program. What I do in Washington, D.C., of course, relates directly to my district uh, in terms of poverty reduction. Poverty rates are growing, growing up in this country like you would not believe uh, for many, many reasons. Uh, childhood poverty, children poverty growing up. So many people uh, during this economic downturn and recession have had to have that bridge over troubled water, uh, a safety net. And uh, food stamps provide that safety net. The majority of people on food stamps do not want to be on food stamps. They want a job, they want to work, they want to be able to take care of their family. Just as a little bit of background on myself again, when I was a student raising two small kids as a single mom, I was on public assistance. And I thank my government for providing me the opportunity to get food stamps, because I needed that, because I didn't know what I was going to do. And so more, most people are like myself. They just need that kind of help. And so when we reauthorized the agricultural bill and the child nutrition efforts, there had been an effort to cut some money out of food stamps to fund the overall child nutrition effort. And we said, no way. I, I chaired the Congressional Black Caucus at that point for two years. And we said, no way. We're not going to allow anyone to take $2 billion out of our uh, food stamp program to fund a very good child nutrition program. So we fought that battle. And oftentimes, I have to take on my own part. Of it. And it's not, it, it's not hostile, but it's a very respectful debate we have to engage in, because that was a debate I had to engage in with my own party and said, we can't do this. And we held up the bill for a while. But finally, we were able to get it resolved, and we did not allow $2 billion to be taken out of these. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What you've done in that regard, because it's something that, for those of us who have been your constituents, have just such a great support in terms of, for one week, you lived on food stamps. Oh, yes. Just well, you know, every year, or every two years, there's a food stamp challenge by the hunger groups, which is a wonderful challenge because I lead the effort on Capitol Hill to get members of Congress to live off of food stamps for a week. And <laughs> it's a challenge. That's four fifty a day. And I'm going to tell you, and we blog on it, and we write about it, and talk about what families go through living off that kind of a budget. First of all, you have to buy canned food, and, and I got the bent up canned food, because that's cheaper. And you look at the sodium content, it's off the scale. Okay, so the health disasters and the health risks around, you know, having such little in terms of the low amount of food stamp allocation is, is tremendous. That's why we're seeing that more kids with childhood obesity. obesity. Secondly, during uh, some of my committee meetings, for example, the concentration so, you know, you're always thinking about food. Where am I going to get my next meal? I only have a dollar and fifty left. So I'm sitting up at eleven o'clock thinking, how am I going to eat the rest of the day when I should think about something else? But I'm thinking about food for a dollar fifty. And, and so the young people, you know, have a very hard time concentrating if they're hungry. And and so, you know, nutrition is extremely important just for brain development and for concentration. Uh, thirdly, you know, when I got to the end of the week, I was here and I only had maybe a couple of dollars left and I had two more days. And so I started looking for the food pantries, you know, start calling around. And I'm finding the lines are getting longer, you know, uh, people, because of the economy, you know, the contributions aren't as great. You know, you've got to go all over town just to find a meal. And so we have to really enhance the emergency food supply and food pantries because people really do have a hard time when they get close to uh, running out of their food stamp allocation, which the whole purpose is to try to increase the dollar amount uh, for food stamps. But there's some serious health risks, you know, in terms of not being able to eat nutritious food when you're low income and when you don't have access 
to the kind of um, food that you should be eating to lead a, a healthy life. So we do this every couple of years. I usually end up with nine or ten members of Congress, and uh, believe you me, by the end of the week, you know, we're, we're thinking about all the, I think about all the people who don't get off at the end of the week, they're still on this. You know, I had the chance, I remember it was the Tuesday, I had the chance to stop on, on the Tuesday, but, you know, I'm thinking of all the people who don't have that opportunity to stop. And that's part of the, one of the issues that I've changed in the time.